Hey, welcome back to the coin box. Today we're taking a quick look at the most common group of modern US Mint dies currently on the market. The 50 state quarters coin and die sets, which were released over a span of 10 years from 1999 through 2008. The sets were issued from both the Philadelphia and Denver mints, and unfortunately, once again, the dies were completely defaced prior to release. The 1999 sets, which were the first year of issue, came in the same priority mailbox presentation as the earlier US Mint die releases, like the 1998 coin and die sets I showed in my previous video. Then, beginning in 2000 through 2008, the Mint began releasing the sets in these blue boxes inside a white outer sleeve. Other than the black pouches included in the 1999 sets, all sets contained the same three items. A US Mint quarter die, a 50 state quarter struck with the die, and a COA. The COA contains the die specifications, ranging from press type to number of strikes. So even though these two dies are practically identical except for their serial numbers, their COAs tell different stories. One is from Denver and the other from Philadelphia. They were used on different press types and were issued under different mint directors. The info that's most interesting to me on these COAs is how long they were in use, the number of strikes, and the reason for retirement. Circulation coin dies like these quarter dies don't tend to last very long due to the extremely high number of strikes. Both of these were put into service one day and retired the next. Sometimes they are even retired the same day, but on rare occasions they last a few days to strike an even larger number of coins, like this one that lasted 4 weekdays and struck 713,000 coins before wearing out. There are a variety of reasons given for retirement, like cracked, damaged, come together, and peace out engraving. I should say I have never heard of someone collecting all 50 sets. Somebody out there probably has done it at this point, but it's just not that kind of item. Most people that own one of these sets probably only have the one from their state. Since all the dies in these sets are completely defaced, really the only difference between sets is the COA. There's nothing significantly different from one die to the next except for the serial number. As a quick side note, I really like the capsules in these sets. I think they're pretty cool. They kind of make the coin look like it's floating. I believe these sets were priced at $34.95 when issued, and that might not sound high, but consider that Silver Spot was between $5 and $6 an ounce at the time, so these were priced at the equivalent of about 6 ounces of silver. Needless to say, buying one of these sets new from the mint would have been a terrible investment since they are still currently worth between $30 and $40, bucks. except now you can only buy one American Silver Eagle for that price. In conclusion, it can be fun to hunt down a set from your state, and I think it's cool to be able to read the die specifications, but these sets continue to remain relatively unpopular because of the fact that none of the die face remains visible. I really wish the Mint had left at least a small portion of the original die face for collectors to enjoy. Even so, these sets are interesting conversation pieces and can still help educate ourselves on what dies look and feel like. In my next video, we'll briefly take a look at the final group of modern US Mint dies, the Westward Journey Nickel Coin and Die Sets, so stay tuned for that video. Share your thoughts on the state quarter die sets in the comments below, and let me know if you own one of these sets. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and share it with a numismatic friend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.